I'm ready, dang. Um, all right, kicking it off, here we go again. So the Wilmington Wildcats are facing off against Watertown here on this cloudy day. We are here on Indigenous Peoples Day, hanging out, shooting a uh, Wilmington field hockey game. Watertown is a real powerhouse from what I'm hearing, so we're excited to see how the Wildcats defense holds up. Playing out here on the field today, we got number 22, Alexandra Kennedy. She's applying some serious pressure. Watertown is moving the ball inside, and it looks like that is offsides. Watertown sets up for the side out. And I correct myself. I believe that was probably the penalty. So Watertown has the free shot set up. Watertown moves the ball down the field. Open shot. Oh, and out of bounds. It's a good setup by Watertown, but Wilmington was ready for it. And the Wildcats prepared. They're wearing the pink today to uh, commemorate breast cancer awareness. We've got Watertown in red. And I believe all day Wilmington will be dedicating their uh, games to breast cancer awareness. Wilmington sets up again straight to Watertown. Watertown drives it down the line. And it looks like that'll be Wilmington's ball. Pardon me, as I'm watching my first field hockey game for the first time, it looks like once again, Watertown is setting up a free shot. Wilmington is lined up in the goal, ready to protect themselves. And Watertown sets up, open line. We got a Wilmington player there, and ball is out. Wilmington moves the ball up the field. Watertown is applying constant pressure. We need a big play made today down the attacking line. Number 10, Emma Allard, is on the ball right now. She's one of the forwards for Wilmington, applying quality pressure, staying on it, forcing Watertown to make a mistake. And once again, there we see number 22, Alexandra Kennedy, making him play. Watertown sneaks the ball away and makes a great pass down the field. Wilmington is there. We are ready. And Wilmington attempts a great stop, and what a block.
Wilmington with a penalty. It looks like they've got a free shot once again. The offense prepares as the defenders get ready for this shot. Watertown with the advantage, of course. A open shot. They set it up in the middle. Line it up. And what a block by Wilmington. Followed in by Watertown. They score. The the keep for Wilmington made a great stop at first, but nobody was prepared to help clear that out for the ricochet. And so... The score is officially one Watertown, Wilmington zero. Wildcats set up to play the ball in. Grace Johnson passes it up. On a pass back, it gets sniped away by Watertown. They drive down the line, weaving their way through, open up a pass, and a great stop by Wilmington. Keep got a foot in there, not kicking the ball away. Watertown moves the ball downfield. Oh, and Wilmington has a player there. Looked like a miscommunication on who was approaching, but once again, we've got a person on ball. Watertown sets it up, and that will be a penalty on Wilmington. Field hockey is a very dangerous sport, so the rules are in place to keep everybody safe, but it can be frustrating at times. Too many people on ball can lead to a uh, setup shot just like this, but Wilmington is in goal, ready to make a play, make it a stop. We've got Kimmy Kane, a senior. She is number 88, rocking the saves today, protecting Wilmington, and that is Wilmington's ball. Wilmington sets up with advantage and plays in. Ball cuts up middle. No one to catch it. Watertown sets the ball up again. And what a steal by Wilmington. There we go. Wilmington with advantage. Finally, we're getting some momentum. And they send it down the left side, down the line, and Watertown is going to get the ball out of bounds. Watertown with a deep pass down the line to the right side. Oh, cutting it in and out, and then Wa Wilmington is there to save it. Oh, looks like advantage to Watertown. Watertown sets up their play. They play it in quick instead of getting full setup. Dribbling, weaving through the defense, and it looked like she was boxing out. We are setting ball up with Wilmington. Wilmington plays it in. And Watertown what knocks the ball out of bounds. Wilmington sets it back up, side out. Watertown's trying to slice the ball through the, the center once again, and It looks to be Watertown's ball as they set up with advantage at the top of the key. Applying pressure once again is Grace Johnson, number nine. She's a junior. Wilmington with an unfortunate pass, but Watertown gets one right through and slips it right past the key. Scores officially 2-0 with five minutes remaining in the first. Is it three periods like regular hockey? Or four quarters? Mm -hmm. 
Wilmington sets it up again. Grace Johnson tries to move the ball. Unfortunately, Watertown is ganging up. They are all set up here. Out there on the right wing, it looks like we've got uh, Leah Lagone, number 12. And that looks like ball out on Watertown. Wilmington sets up. Wilmington is getting no luck in the passing lanes. Watertown is playing a really tight defense. And a pass looks like it goes out of bound off Watertown, giving Wilmington its chance on the other side of the 50-yard line today. Wilmington is trailing by two right now with three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Watertown slices and dices and drives straight past Kimmy Kane. She's getting no help on that uh, defense as they are getting pretty decently open looks. But it's only the first quarter, so we've got time to really figure out how to take apart Watertown. This is a powerhouse, of course, running through the area right now. And... Uh, Wilmington is looking to score on them as it's been kind of a dry spell for them offensively. Wilmington with a nice setup, and they are moving down the field. Once again, that's Grace Johnson, and the ball is taken by Watertown. We are trailing behind them, 2-0, following going down the middle again. Wilmington with the stop, and we... Looks like Watertown was looking for an advantage on that, but clean play, and that looks like that will be called for sure. Can't have your stick up that high in the air. That looked like it's going to be a Watertown advantage. They're getting a f set up for Wilmington right now. We're setting up to get another stop on a free play. Watertown is ready in the corner. And then pass to the right side. Watertown cuts it down the right line, into the middle. Open player, Watertown. Oh, what a stop. Wilmington gets a clean block on that one. That was number seven, Kira Warford, the captain. She is a senior as well this year. The three captains serving for Wilmington today are Kira Warford, number seven, uh, Jordan Bornstein, number 11, and Sidney Crane, the assistant captain, number 13. And Watertown with a clean shot, but it goes errant out to the side. White Wilmington will set up with the ball. Wilmington passes it in. Oh, great pass, and just happens to slip by the Wildcat, but no problem. We are setting back up for defense. Everybody's here, and we've got bodies on the right side of the field. And Watertown is setting up the ball. They take it to the top, nearly to the halfway. And that ball goes out of bounds. Wilmington sets up again on defense as they try and move the ball down the field, hoping for a clean clear. That ball goes back to Watertown and looks like Wilmington advantage. Wilmington tries to play the advantage quick. Oh. And... It looks like the referees 
are not happy with that. They're waiting for everyone to get set. Play it behind. There you go. By the line. Wilmington sets up. Great pass. And that slips by once again. And that was number 22, Alexandra Kennedy. Alexandra is a freshman, it looks like. She's there to make a big play, it looks like, so no worries. She'll get that going soon. And that's all the time we have in the first quarter. It looks like the final tally was 3-0. to zero. Um, Coming into this second quarter, we're hoping to see a little bit more action on the Wilmington side offensively. And we are back here in the second quarter. The score is Watertown 3, Wilmington 0. Uh, Wilmington passes the ball, plays the ball in, and Watertown playing quite aggressive today, but Wilmington is just getting going. If anything about the Wildcats, I've known them to be a second-half team. So once they get into the flow of the game, I imagine we will see some serious action on the other side of the 50-yard line. Watertown applies just constant pressure, and the field is pretty open to them. They are taking advantage of Wilmington. But as the pressure stays on, we know that that'll break Watertown's pretty consistent style of offense. We'll, we'll find holes and crack through, get a couple passes across, and an amazing uh, chip shot in the air flies right past Wilmington's keep. I mean, that was just a really great play by Watertown right there. I imagine the offensive players will think about that one later for sure. Kimmy Kane in as our keep, doing her best to slow down the offensive powerhouse Watertown is. The Wilmington Wildcats are once again repping pink today in favor of uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. They want to really shine as the whole team uh, all day. All teams will be wearing pink in honor of Awareness for breast cancer. And Wilmington making a great play down the line as we we knew they would. They really seemed to favor that right side. So uh, hopefully they can get some action flowing through it. Watertown slices past the defense and scores again. The score is now 5-0. to zero. We have 13 minutes remaining in the second quarter. We've got WCTV with coverage today in the booth. My name is Jack Smith with Tom Felitti shooting on camera and Maddie Napoli working the scoreboard. We are setting up as Wilmington passes the ball back in. Down the right side, Wilmington is getting some action. We got an open look, and Watertown is there once again. Wilmington is fighting for it on the right side. We like the hustle. We know the fire will start to light up those Wildcats soon enough. Great stop by the keep. Clearing that ball out to the right side, or the left side. Uh, Watertown sides it in. Wilmington with advantage, getting the ball set up to move it down the field. And that pass is, slight, this is right past the Wilmington offensive wing. Watertown is setting up once again. Oh, ball is moving to the right side, passes it in Watertown with a close one. And looks like it was Watertown with the penalty there. Wilmington gets advantage, resetting the ball. There we go. Number 22 has locked in finally, Alexandra Kennedy. But we expect a lot from our young freshman today as she's going to make a big play for us. Wilmington is in the corner. And it looks like that was went out of bounds. <laughs> Watertown sets up 
at the top of the key around the 25 yard line. Watertown was trying to make a move, but Alexander Kennedy was there to make the stop, and it looks like Wilmington, Watertown is given advantage. I think after making a couple of plays, Alexandra Kennedy looks like she's locked in. But she boxed out there on that play, setting up uh, Watertown's ability to get a free play here. The Wilmington Wildcat defenders are getting in the goal in preparation for this. And Kimmy Kane, the keep. Prepares. There we go. And Wilmington attacks solidly. Wilmington with an open look. Can we get the ball down the... F oh, wonderful pass. And Watertown's final man back gets the stop. She pulls it off and... Ooh, that one looked like it might have hurt. Uh, Wilmington's number 15, Grace Lamanoka. Applying pressure down the line. It looks like Watertown is moving up to the right side. Solid pass through the middle, and it gets by everybody. All the way back to Watertown. At the top of the key, we got a Watertown body available. She passes the ball back in, and Wilmington applying pressure. Wilmington gets the ball knocked out of bounds. Looks like it'll be... Wilming or Watertown's advantage. They set it up at the top of the keep. To the right side. And that'll be a penalty on Wilmington again. Watertown taking advantage before Wilmington can get set up. They apply pressure moving quickly. This and that t goes right out of bounds. Looks like it was a penalty again on a Wilmington defender. So we're setting up a advantage here. With nine minutes remaining, the score is five to zero here in the uh, second quarter. Watertown sets up for their free shot. And Wilmington's defense is prepared. They apply pressure, cutting straight through the middle. And a good stop by our keep, Kimmy Kane. Ooh. Looks like Wilmington had a body go down there. Did not seem like it felt good. She is stumbling a little bit, and the ball goes in. Watertown scores again. The score is 6-0, and it looks like we're going to make a substitution here as uh, a Wilmington player is hot, running off the field. Looks like she can still walk, so it's a good sign, but can't imagine that felt good. That is number 11. Our captain, Jordan Bornstein, uh, just a couple minutes on the bench. I imagine she'll be ready to go again. But the frustration must be building as the score is 6-0. to zero. Watertown seems to be continuing in its effort to score with no desire to let up pressure as it's only the second quarter. Wilmington sets the ball up down the field. And... Contact, looks like uh, that is Wilmington's ball again. They set up for the free free play. And they clear it straight down the field. Wilmington with a, a good offensive look. Here we go. And Watertown applying pressure, but Wilmington has a body there. Once again, Wilmington with an opportunity to set up a free play. Here we are with a good look on the other side of the 50-yard line. Wilmington trying to send a heater. Flies right to Watertown. They make a play down the line, moving it straight down the middle of the field. And... Watertown with possession. Penalty on Wilmington again. 
trying to keep those sticks in check. Uh, Wilmington it comes to clear it out, but there's a Watertown offensive or defensive player ready to go. Midfielders are applying pressure, keeping it up. And that looks like advantage to Wilmington. Advantage to Watertown, per pardon me. Setting up once again for a free shot. Wilmington's defenders gear up as the score is 6-0. to zero. As a captain, uh, Jordan Bornstein went to the sideline, you know, after an apparent injury. Hopefully, ready to come back into the game. It looks like uh, we have to substitute a new defender. We got a different energy whenever you don't have your captain out there, kind of applying the key pressure. But looks like that shot will end in a uh, Wilmington free play. So we're gonna. Set the ball up. Wilmington plays it in. Down to, the, once again, our freshman number 22. That is Alexander Kennedy. The score is 6-0 to zero with five minutes remaining. Watertown is, oh, great stop by the keep there. Kenny, we love to see that. Kimmy Kane with a wonderful stop and kick. She's showing great poise under pressure as Watertown is not giving up an inch. And Watertown sets it up for the side out. Wilmington has a body there. You know, and... Watertown slices and dices the defense down the line, taking that ball out as Wilmington sets up for what we hope to be a uh, decent clear and a couple of clean passes. So we go for the first one. And there we are. We got an open look with our freshman. Great possession. Here we go. Opportunity to make a play. Is there a body there? Can we get a man up? Oh, no, lovely. Wilmington... Making clean connection with the ball right now. Is happy to see that. And that ball looks like it's going to go out of bounds. And perfect. Wilmington with a chance once again. Bringing the ball in today is Isabella Mela. Mayella. Apologize on the names. And Wilmington with a great stop and an open look. If they can hold possession, that is number 12, Leia Langone. Playing quite aggressive. She is not waiting for Watertown to get set up. Oh, and a great pass underneath. Looks like a nutmeg from up here. Wilmington was making great strides. Probably the furthest they made it down the field today to the 20-yard line. Awesome pressure by Leo Langone. Ball slides right past the right defender on Wilmington. And Watertown scores. Kimmy Kane put up a really good effort there, but the second attempt was a, a great possession by Wilmington. No, by Watertown. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go for it. We should... Yeah, no, no. Uh, no, we're not live anyway, so this is all. Yeah, yeah, this is just for them to. They can cut and edit any of this later. It's just. We're, yeah, yeah, we're just doing some graphics right now so that it's like almost shot like it was live. But. Watertown. With a ball, a clean ball down the left line, but Wilmington is there with the defender. Applying pressure, there's three bodies there. That ball clears the entire side 
was a good pass, but nobody was there to take advantage of it. Watertown tries to move the ball back down the line. A nice possession by Watertown. Great dribbling. And we have momentum. Wilmington with an open per open player, but no, they turn the ball back around. Watertown is unrelenting. Oh, what a fake shot. And a clean pass, but Wilmington has a body. That is Wilmington's ball. Looks like we got a light rain starting out here today on the field. Hopefully the Wildcats can stay safe. Don't want to see either team slip up on uh, the turf today, but it's a nice, nice, you know, holiday to be spending playing field hockey. The cousin to lacrosse. Watertown with a great dribble in the corner. It looks like they're planning to hold here in the corner, waiting for Wilmington to commit. Very clean dribble. She, uh, Wilmington seems to have no interest in letting her, uh, you know, if she decides she wants to work out all of her energy and exert herself, Wilmington has no interest in letting her not do it. Wilmington triples up and advantage to Watertown. You can't have that many bodies on a, on a person with possession. Watertown choosing to chew the clock. There's only 15 seconds left in the second quarter. That ball slips right past Watertown, goes out of bounds. We have five seconds left in the half as Wilmington takes the side out. And that is our half, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me so far with WCTV. I'm in the booth with Tom Felitti on camera and Maddie Napoli working the scoreboard. We'll be back with some uh, second-half energy from Wilmington, who we know to be a second-half team. And we are back here in the third quarter with uh, Wilmington versus Watertown on this holiday day. We are doing a breast cancer awareness uh, tribute with all of our uniforms here at Wilmington. I am Jack Smith with WCTV in the booth with Maddie Napoli and Tom Felitti on camera. We are shooting a 7-0 game against the powerhouse of Watertown. Wilmington's defense has really, really shined on the, how much pressure that they've been taking up. And our keep senior, Kimmy Kane, has done a fantastic job staying on top of it. But uh, it looks like Wilmington is going to get a uh, side out here and set up. We got a freak play in and a great pass down the middle. Uh, Wilmington clears it out to, straight to Watertown, who's always in position, it seems. And that ball goes out of bounds, errant pass by Watertown. Water, Wilmington is going to set it up around the 35-yard uh, line. That is number 21, Isabella uh, Mayella. Sending the ball in, and Watertown snipes it, but Wilmington... Uh, Gets it right back. Keeping the ball in, number 10 is Emma Allard. She is also a freshman out here on the field today. Applying pressure, we've got Wilmington forcing the ball back towards the other sideline for Watertown. They're resetting, getting some space, opening up as Wilmington is in preparation for their move. Uh, Watertown is uh, bringing the ball to back up to the top of the keep. Slides by, and we are around the 45-yard line. They reset and send it all the way around, keeping composure and holding the ball. Watertown drives the pass in. Oh, Wilmington was there and clean up, but Watertown recovers. And that'll be 
Watertown's advantage on Wilmington. Can't come from behind on an offensive player. And that ball goes out of bounds, slips right past Watertown. I imagine the weather is starting to affect the players today as it's uh, lightly raining here on the field. It's kind of chilly as well. Um, but still happy to be here playing on a uh, Monday. And great clear by Wilmington there as Watertown was moving pretty nicely up the line, up to the goal. And Watertown moving the ball in once again. Wilmington with a body on it, but looks like that'll be uh, too many defenders on Watertown. So Wilmington will get to set up the ball again. Playing it up and slips the ball real nice, but right past the water Wilmington defender. Wilmington is keeping the pressure up. And there we go. A little bit of a chance there. It looks like they're really, really focused on getting the ball cleared and they're not converting on making a play. So as much as the defense continues to hold up time and again, we're not transitioning quickly enough. So luckily, uh, Wilmington is got time it is only uh 11 minutes into the third quarter so a whole lot of field hockey left to play watertown is dribbling nicely through the wilmington defense a lot of composure and it looks like they want to hold the ball into the corner And Watertown had some words for the referee there. Looks like Wilmington sets back up. Watertown is taking the ball all the way around. Taking it up to the top of the left side. Watertown moves the ball through, dribbling with a... She's got a... And Wilmington with a the stop. There we go. She had a pass open there, but Watertown looked like they wanted to take it all the way. Watertown running a good triangle offense on uh, Wilmington, but it looks like that tips out off of Watertown, giving Wilmington a nice chance to set the ball up here around the uh, 30... 35-yard line. Nine minutes remaining here in uh, the third quarter. The score is 7-0. to zero. Wilmington's doing a decent job of keeping Watertown from bringing up the score anymore. And uh, Wil Watertown's number nine slices through three of Wilmington's defenders before dunking off to number 13. They're strong offensive uh, forward. Watertown sets it up to the middle, takes it back to the left side, but Wilmington's got three bodies there, four bodies there for in preparation. The right forward for Watertown is keeping a body up, and it looks like they're going to let them play through, so Wilmington <coughs> pardon me. Wilmington is doing their best to keep Watertown from making any major moves here. Looks like that will be uh, looks like that'll be a corner for Watertown here. And Wa Wilmington and Watertown seem to have some confusion there with the ref on whose ball it is. Wilmington is a uh, looks to be giving Wilmington a warning, but we are good to go. And looks like Watertown is setting up for a penalty kick here. Looks to be like their first penalty kick of the second of second half, though. So 
no harm here. Wilmington has done a decent job of keeping them out of clean shots, so the score is still holding 7-0. to zero. Will Watertown with their corner kick, getting in preparation. Wilmington is uh, suiting up. Ball slips right past the Watertown offensive player, and the midfield is there to clean it up, but that ball goes out of bounds. With seven minutes remaining, the score is 7-0. to zero. Wilmington sets up for the uh, play-in. Moving the ball to number 21, that is Isabella Mela. Mela. And she tries to pass it up to the middle. It looks like it gets intercepted by Watertown, who decides to rotate the ball around the field. Uh, oh, look at that. The athletic director seems to have helped bring out a pop-up tent for the Wildcats so they don't have to sit in the rain. Wildcats applying quality pressure in the left corner. We are... Setting up for what looks to be a nice pass down. Hopefully a good clear for Wilmington. And uh, Wilmington is making a substitution on the field right now. Coming into the game is number 19. I'm sorry, my correction, number 15. Grace uh, Lameoka. LaMonica? Grace LaMonica. And Wilmington seems to be slowing down number 13 for uh, Watertown, who was causing a lot of problems for them earlier, and they keep trying to force the ball her way. But uh, Wilmington seems to do her their best to slow her down. She turns the ball back up to the middle of the key. They're looking to set up one more time. Watertown with a clean pass down the middle, and Wilmington has the ball again. That slips right past the offensive player. Uh, she recovers, fights for the ball, and brings the ball down into the corner where they seem to be comfortable keeping the ball away from Wilmington as they're setting up their play down by the line. And that ball goes out of bounds. That'll be out of bounds off Watertown. Wilmington setting up the free play. And that slips through straight to Watertown again. Watertown with the ball at the top of the key. This ball is going back and forth right now as nobody can seem to get a clean offensive possession set up. Ball off of Watertown. Wilmington with an opportunity here. We've got four minutes remaining here in the third quarter as Wilmington sets it up down. At, looks like Watertown is going to steal it again, but Wilmington is ready and prepared to turn this into an offensive possession. That is uh, Grace LaMonica with the ball. Three Watertown defenders around her, and she gets the ball pass through to number nine. That was Grace Johnson. Oh. Wilmington with an opportunity, but Watertown slides past them one more time. Slipping the ball through to number 13 for the right wing of Watertown. She dribbles the ball cleanly, moves it through two Water Wilmington defenders, and sets it back up to the top of the key. We're rotating around as Watertown hopes to build out some space. Spread Wilmington out. Wilmington is keeping bodies on the right side of the field for good reason. And... That ball slips right past Wilmington. Going to the corner one more time where on the left side, Watertown seems real comfortable. But uh, Wilmington is 
aware of it and they're ready for it. So they seem to be keeping Watertown, you know, at bay from getting anywhere near the keep, which is really confident for uh, if I'm Kimmy Kane and the keep, I'm feeling good about the, what I'm seeing from my teammates right now. Number 13 for Watertown sets it up to number 21. She moves it down to the right corner. And that looks to be a uh, penalty on Watertown. So Wilmington gets to set up the ball here in the 15-yard line. Ball goes off of Watertown again, incrementally giving Wilmington a chance to move up the field piece by piece. They play it short and attempt to clear it through the middle. Oh, and we get the ball through to number nine, Grace Johnson. And that ball slips right past Watertown's player. This is Wilmington set up one more time. We're looking at about the uh, 40, 42 yard line. Wilmington's passing it in. To the middle, we've got an open body. The play th we play it up, play it through, and that ball gets picked off by Watertown one more time. The uh, Wildcats are applying pressure, keeping the ball ahead of them. At the very least, we've got the ball in the corner, and we've got no clear shots on net. That's what really matters. The score is still 7-0, so... As long as the Wildcats can hold up for the next 45 seconds or so, we'll have a shutout going into the fourth. That ball goes out of bounds on Watertown. Wilmington clears the ball up to the top, and Watertown once again slices through, uh, piecing it into the corner, where Wilmington has the bodies and they are ready to make a play that ball goes out of bounds off Watertown with 19 seconds remaining we are right on pace to uh, clear it out for the first uh, the beginning of this second half Watertown with the ball around the 50 yard line they're spacing it out Wilmington is uh, waiting for the pass anticipating and that is the quarter so as it's a uh, lightly raining out here at Alumni Stadium, we've got two minutes. All right, we are getting set up here in the fourth quarter for uh, the Wildcats varsity field hockey game against Watertown. The score is 7-0 to zero with a... Uh, very, very solid performance by Wilmington's defense in the third quarter. Uh, an impressive, impressive performance as Watertown has shown to have a serious offensive prowess, but they seem to have figured out exactly what Watertown was looking for, and they have adjusted. Watertown is setting the ball back up at the top of the key. And Wilmington is holding steady knowing exactly what Watertown was looking for, but Watertown drives down the middle, looks to be passing it up to the left wing. They got it down the line by the keep, and once again, Wilmington is there to make the stop before they can get any kind of play inside. Ball slips past Wilmington's defender, but luckily another person was there to help out. Slipping through, they are setting up number 13 again. She has been a dominant force to see, and it looks like Wilmington's aware, so they would rather clear the ball out than give her a chance to score here. Watertown moves the ball to the top of the keep, getting the ball ready around the 50-yard line, spacing out Wilmington one more time. They really like to have some opportunity for, to play the passing lane, so Wilmington is in preparation of that, anticipating well. The ball slips past to the middle of the field, gets to Watertown's number 13, who sl slips it back to number 6 really quickly. That was a nice little uh, give and go. And Wilmington is there. Bodies are everywhere. People are really, really trying 
their best to get the defensive possession here. I would love to see a, a nice conversion on the two-way as Wilmington seems to you know, hold steady on the defensive end. The score is 7-0, to 12-50. And in the corner, Watertown is maneuvering between a couple of Wilmington defenders. The ball slips through. And Watertown is moving with an open look. Oh, and they pass it. Nice, clean pass across, but no one was there for the cross. And nice pressure by Wilmington to try and force the ball out on Watertown. Watertown is very confident in their ability to drive through on Wilmington, so they have no qualm waiting to take advantage of Wilmington not being set up for a play here, but gives them no time to set up for themselves. Ball moves to... Other side, oh, Wilmington with a nice anticipation, getting a stop there. But uh, Watertown is quick to clean up the mistake, and they are moving down offensively once again, driving through Wilmington's defense. They have a pretty clean look coming into the uh, first time, and, oh, Wilmington with a great stop, but Watertown is still there with possession. They move the ball down to the right side. And that'll be a stick check for... Uh, Watertown, Wilmington is doing their best to stop Watertown from moving their ball in their side of the field. With a lot of space and a lot of numbers on Wilmington, it looks like Wilmington continues to get kind of bundled up in the corners there. Uh, Watertown is moving the ball around again. Watertown sets it up down to the right line. And Wilmington is there. Perfect amount of pressure, ready anticipation, but Watertown still slips through. They somehow hold possession. They, they've got a great dribble on their stick, so they are really keeping that ball tight. time of possession has been pretty substantial in Watertown's favor, but Wilmington, like I said, it's 7 to nothing, and they haven't scored it at all in this second half, so Wilmington continues to apply quality defensive pressure. We are moving the ball finally down to the other half of the field. We are clearing it in, and Watertown with a nifty stop, but Wilmington is ready for it. And Watertown here. Wilmington has the bodies ready, though. They've got numbers. That is a clean drive down the middle and a nice little pass out to the left side. But she obviously didn't feel confident in taking the shot there with the open look. Watertown is really good about passing it to the next man. But here we are in the right corner dribbling again. And she weaves her way past Wilmington's defender. And Wilmington with a nice clear to the outside. But... Watertown is there to clean it back up, and ooh, that one slips right past Wilmington's defender. We've got nine minutes left in this fourth quarter. The final game, uh, minutes of the game. Can we see Wilmington put up their goal before it's all said and done on the powerhouse that is Watertown? Watertown is once again down there in the corner. And Wilmington is ready for it this time. They're saying, can fool me once, but I'm going to learn. They're in preparation. I love to see Wilmington's anticipation here. Watertown is playing the space. And they've got a body available in the open middle of the field. But uh, Wilmington rotates well. We have gotten the ball down to either side, but it looks like Wilmington is prioritizing keeping that middle from getting the ball through. So happy to see that uh, this defensive structure is working well on Watertown.
Watertown slices it down to the right side. Number 13 again with anticipation. She cuts it back on Wilmington, uh, weaving her way through. She gets to up to the right side. And, oh, Wilmington told her she was getting a little too cocky on that. Should have tried to pass it off and make a play, but felt like she could take it herself. Wilmington sets up for the free play-in. And Watertown is moving up to the left side of the field. Oh, but that pass gets just right past him. It is still 7-0 to zero with seven minutes remaining here at Alumni Stadium. And Wilmington's pass is picked off by Watertown, who fakes the pass outward. And they don't seem too interested in uh, putting up errant shots, so they want to take a clean possession. They play the ball back down to the side. Open person down middle, and they play it out. Play it out just to keep a uh, possession and keep the time, of course, moving. They want to keep that clock running as they are holding steady to a very substantial lead. Watertown moves up to the right side. Here we go. They have an open pass available, but they decide to bring it in themselves once again, upholding possession with a nice tight dribble. Watertown with a good cross through, but uh, Wilmington was there for it. Nice clear out by Wilmington, forcing Watertown to reset. And a substitution for Wilmington here. It looks like we've got uh, number 21, Isabella Maia, running off the, floor, the, the field. Watertown is playing the ball on the right side, and Wilmington was ready for it, knocking that ball out of bounds. And coming back in for Isabella is number 15. Looked like Grace uh, LaMonica is back on the field. With uh, five minutes and 25 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter, this final effort of play, we've got our first uh, corner kick here for uh, Watertown. They are... Setting it up for the penalty as Wilmington gears up for this uh, anticipated stop. And Wilmington is ready to go. Watertown plays it short as Wilmington has time to reapproach. So Watertown goes down into the corner to just spread it out. Don't seem to want to force any play here as they've decided to make a couple of substitutions. So. It looks like uh, both their starting forwards are coming off the field for w Watertown now. And they're going to take a breather after you know, an impressive uh, performance. Oh, and Watertown looks to have gotten tripped there. That was not a fortunate fall. Hope she's all right. And Watertown makes another exchange, uh, substituting two more players out here on the field today. So... That pass slips right past Watertown's backup forward, but of course she you know she just got into the game, so naturally you can get some room for some mistakes here. Hopefully Watertown uh, backups will give Wilmington an opportunity to get that goal in here before the game ends today. And nice, there, nice slap there for the clear, but Watertown picks it off one more time to the right side. It looks like Watertown is. Preparing for a nice clean victory here with three minutes and 30 seconds remaining. And Wilmington is moving in anticipation, preparing for Watertown's eventual shot on net. 
Not if uh, the defenders have anything to say about that. It's two bodies there on Wat Wilmington's one possessive player. That didn't look like that was a clean hit, but that ball goes out of bounds on Wilmington. Watertown setting it up for the side out. And they move that ball back to the top of the keep, really just trying to own up on possession. They've got a body ahead, and Wilmington was ready for the pass. Fantastic applied pressure still by uh, Grace uh, LaMonica, a freshman out there who's making a lot of really good plays and reading the defense well when it comes to these passes, it looks like. Kind of a quiet day for Watertown's keeper, but uh, with two minutes remaining, and it seems like we're going to wrap this game up uh, with time of possession leaning heavily again in Watertown's favor. We are looking at a minute 50. We've got Wilmington setting up for a uh, free play. They clear it out to a pass that is picked off by Watertown. And as Wilmington moves down the field, it goes out of bounds off Watertown. So Wilmington in position to make a play. They, uh, Watch the ooh, as the ball gets set back up down to the right wing. And we got a minute remaining. Here's this game wraps up. As Wilmington played one heck of a shutout in the second half here. So the final score being... 7-0, to zero. we saw a lot of great plays from some of the younger members of this team as they're, you know, just getting started in their field hockey careers. Here is Wildcats. Uh, we are looking to close out the game as Watertown chooses to just play possession in the corner until they can end it over. And Wilmington says, we're not having that. As this game goes out, it's on our terms with our ball. So we got 10 seconds remaining as the score is 7-0, to zero. Wilmington field hockey girls varsity team against the Watertown powerhouse with their uh, seven-point lead. This was a WCTV coverage with Jack Smith and Tom Felitti. And in the booth today, we had Maddie Napoli running the scoreboard. Uh, thank you for joining us. Have a great day.